Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add an emoji inside of Adobe Premiere. Now the process requires you to have Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere and it does not require you to have any sort of images so you don't need to go to any online sites to download any sort of images. We can create vector quality emojis inside of Premiere and make them as large or as small inside of the video while maintaining the correct resolution so they don't get blurry or anything like that. All right, so first off, we're going to need to have Adobe Photoshop open, and I'm going to open up a brand new document. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to select the text icon, and I'm going to select the font up here. So you do need to have this font. It's called Apple Color Emoji. We're going to add this font, and then once we use this font, and we open it up and say Apple Color Emoji, uh, we're going to delete the warm up some text, and let's add Apple Color Emoji again, and then select that. Boom, now we have all these emojis. Now sometimes it can be a little bit cumbersome for you to find what you're looking for. So you can sort by glyphs by Unicode or by GID. It really doesn't matter how you sort them uh, because you can find the GID, CID um, on a variety of different websites. But let's just say we're looking for you know any, any one of these emojis. I'm just gonna give you an example and we're gonna find something fun to use. And let's see here, what, what can we find here? It basically has all the emojis. Now, since I, I will show you, let's try a heart. Okay, we wanna add a heart inside of the video. We're gonna click on that heart and it should, it's an orange heart. I don't know why it's orange, but it's orange. So we're gonna click on the heart and maybe if we can find something else here, we'll add something else there. All right, let's see here. Oh, an eggplant. How about that? A heart and eggplant. Um, there you go, a heart and an eggplant. And maybe even a mushroom, I like the mushroom. Let's put that in there too. Cool, you got the heart, the eggplant, and the mushrooms. Okay, so we got, we got this. Now I'm going to remove the background from this layer first. We're gonna do, remove that background. And now I'm just gonna do the selector tool and make this a little larger because I wanna add these into my, uh, into my video. Okay, now I'm going to go to image trim and we're going to trim all the transparent pixels. So we just have the three emojis right there. Now we're going to export this file as, uh, as something called Emoji for Premiere 2, because I already have the first one. We're going to call it Emoji for Premiere. For Premiere, okay. And we're going to save this on my computer. To spare you all the details, I saved all the, all the information already on the computer. And I also, what I did was I just imported it right into Photoshop. So I, I found it and I just grabbed it, dragged it right into my sequence. And now my emojis are appearing right here. So now you can see my emojis and I can make them larger. I can make them, and see they're vector quality so they don't get blurry, they don't diminish in quality. Uh, so long as it's the Photoshop file is uh, still the same resolution that we want it to appear in the video. In other words, it's the right size. The quality should be the same. Now. Uh, let's say I have a new video I'm working on. I want to change what these are and it's not the same Let's put an avocado a croissant an avocado a croissant whoops an avocado a croissant and a peanut Okay, there's our three items now I'm going to save that and now watch what happens inside of premiere once I load it again that actually changes So now we have a modular way to include emojis inside of Adobe Premiere while using the Adobe Photoshop uh, files so we actually create a PSD, and I don't need to save it in any, any particular format. It's just a PSD, the same Adobe uh, Emoji for Premiere .psd, and I'm able to import these emojis directly into it, into Premiere. Now, if I want to move these emojis around and I want to manipulate them in a different way and I want to, I want to show up uh, differently, I'm gonna create my select tool if this wants to comply with me. Let's see why it's not working here. Oh, there we go, we can, we can actually just move it around. We can rotate them here and we can move them across the screen. We can move them anywhere because it's a PNG file or it's a transparent layer, um, and not a PNG, it's a transparent PSD. We can add these add these anywhere we'd like. We can make them as large or as small. We can rotate them, we can add effects to them. We can do anything we'd like to this. So it acts just like another clip inside of Premiere. This is a really, really unique way of doing it and a really fun way to do it because it allows you to have the modular capability to move things around as needed and allows you to change it, swap it without having to necessarily, you know, change, an ex, uh, change your sequence or do any modifications to your sequence. 
All you have to do is change this and then you can actually export new emojis. So if I'm using ads that have emojis and I want to test different emojis, super easy for me to do that uh, with this modular method. So thank you so much for watching and please uh, do subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy this kind of content, we go over a ton of Facebook ads questions and a ton of Facebook ads recommendations along with a lot of these little uh, tips, tricks, and little tactics that I've uh, learned over the years in order to make the, my workflow a little bit more streamlined and a little easier so that I can be more efficient and also I can uh, create better quality ads and produce better scale for people that I'm working with. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.